In this video, we use a temporary access pass to onboard users with passwordless authentication. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raltos. Passwordless authentication is a great option to secure access with or without the Microsoft Authenticator app. Using Windows Hello or a FIDO2 compliant hardware token, such as the Yubico YubiKey, users can access Azure and Microsoft 365 resources securely without a password. There are two ways to onboard users for passwordless authentication. First, they can use multi-factor authentication, such as with the Authenticator app, to set up passwordless authentication. This is good, but it requires the user to have MFA. Some organizations can't require users to use personal devices, such as a cell phone, for the Authenticator app. In these cases, they need an alternative to onboard users for passwordless authentication. That's where the temporary access pass can help. Before that, please like, subscribe to this channel, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Your support is appreciated. If you'd like to learn more about hybrid identities with Azure AD and Windows AD, check out my course on udemy.com. The link is below. Back to it. The temporary access pass is currently in public preview. It's a time-limited passcode that satisfies strong authentication requirements and is used to onboard users for other authentication services, including passwordless authentication. It can also be used to recover an account if a hardware or software token is lost or stolen. There are some steps needed to get this to work. First, a policy has to be created and the users have to be assigned to the policy. This is done in Azure AD under security authentication methods. Let's jump into the portal and configure the policy. Here we are in Azure AD. Let's go to security authentication methods. And you'll notice I have three users enabled for FIDO2 security key. Those are my passwordless users we'll use for this example. Temporary access pass is not enabled. Let's fix that. We'll go to temporary access pass and change it to enabled. Next, we can set it to all users, a group, or individual users. It's currently set for the passwordless group. Select the user or group that will use the policy and then click select. Let's configure the policy next. Go to configure and edit. We can edit these settings on the policy. It has a minimum lifetime that the pass is valid for set to one hour. The maximum lifetime is eight hours. Let's change that to one day. Also, the default lifetime is set to one hour. The code length is set to eight digits. Let's change that to 12. Require one time use is set to no. That means that the pass can be used more than once during the pass's lifetime. So it could be used multiple times within a 24 hour period with the current setting. Setting this to yes will expire the pass once it's used. Click update to configure the policy. Don't forget to save your changes before finishing. That is how to enable and update the policy. Now that the policy is in place, we can create a temporary access pass for our users. In order to create a pass, we have to have the correct permissions. A global administrator can create, delete, and view temporary access passes for any user but themselves. Privileged authentication administrators can create, delete, and view temporary access passes for admins and members, excluding themselves. Authenticated administrators can create, delete, and view temporary access passes on members, excluding themselves. Global readers can view temporary access passes on users, but they can't read the access pass code itself. Let's jump back into the portal and create a temporary access pass for one of our passwordless users. Here we are in Azure AD. Let's go to users and find the passwordless user we'll use for this example. We'll use passwordless one. Let's go to authentication methods. There's currently no authentication methods. Let's add one. Under choose method, go to temporary access pass. We have the option to delay the start time. Use this if we don't want the pass to be active right away. For example, if we're setting this up for a new employee that starts at a later date. We'll disable that. 
We can set a lifetime duration based on the policy. It will go up to 1,440 minutes or 24 hours. We also have the option to set a one-time use. We'll leave that at no and click add. Next, it gives us the pass along with the URL where the user can onboard the authentication method. There's also a note about removing lost devices from the account. That should be a standard process if somebody reports a lost or stolen token. Copy the passcode, we'll need it coming up shortly. Click OK once finished. We'll set up passwordless authentication for the user using that temporary access pass shortly. Before that, let's go to our conditional access policies. Here's the conditional access policy that requires MFA for the passwordless user group. And here's the requirement. The temporary access pass is used to satisfy strong authentication. If MFA isn't required, the user won't have to use the temporary access pass. They can just use the username and password. Let's onboard the user for passwordless authentication next. Here we are in a private browser session. We'll open up the aka.ms forward slash my security info page. Enter the user UPN that we issued the temporary pass to. Next, we'll enter in that temporary access pass and sign in. Now we're logged in and we can add our passwordless authentication option. Add a method. We'll select security key. And for this, I'm using a USB device. I'm using a Yubico Security Key NFC for this example. Walk through the steps to allow the browser to access the USB key. Insert the USB key when prompted. We have to enter in a security pin. If this is a new key, you may have to enter it twice to verify the new pin. And then with the UB key, I have to touch the key to activate it. I'll give it a name, security key NFC. And we're done. And keep in mind, in able to get to this point, I had to enable the user for FIDO2 security keys. I also had to enforce MFA with a conditional access policy for that user. Now we're done. That's how we set up a FIDO2 hardware token. The steps would be different if we're using Windows Hello, but at a high level, we would sign in with the temporary access pass and finish the setup. Let's see the sign in experience with a key. Here we are at a new incognito session and I'm using the incognito window or private window. So there's no conflict with credentials. We'll go to the aka.ms forward slash my security info page. Instead of entering in our UPN, go to sign in options, sign in with a security key. We have to enter in the pin for the key. And then for this key, I have to touch it. And that's it. Now I'm signed in with passwordless authentication. That is how to configure the Azure Temporary Access Pass policy and onboard a user for passwordless authentication. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.